Hello everyone. Welcome to Sign One News. I'm Sign One News anchor Christopher D. Johnson. Here is a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Right now, more than 120 million people are under heat alerts across the U.S. Over the next seven days, 60 million people will endure temperatures above 100 degrees. And over 85% of the U.S. population will see heat rise above 90 degrees. Scientists from two global climate organizations say before July is over, this month will be the hottest in Earth's history. There have been at least 16 heat-related deaths so far this year in Nevada. It's been so hot in Arizona, doctors are seeing a spike in patients burned by simply falling on the ground, which is about 180 degrees at certain times of the day. Drivers in Minnesota are warned to beware of buckling pavement on the roads. And it isn't just the world's land areas that are scorching in the summer heat. The oceans are suffering too. The water temperature around Florida has risen above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's more than 37 degrees Celsius, threatening the world's largest, third largest coral reef and all the wildlife that depends on it. The truth is out there about the existence of UFOs and alien life forms. And Congress is determined to find out what it is. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers are hearing testimony from former military and intelligence personnel. They say UAPs, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, are more common than we know, and the government needs to take reports of UFO sightings more seriously. In fact, a former Air Force intelligence officer testified that the remains discovered inside a crashed UAP were non-human. In April, the Pentagon said it was tracking about 650 incidents involving UAPs that they currently cannot explain. But they emphasized there was no evidence of extraterrestrial life or of objects that defy physics. The hearing is just the latest effort by Congress to find the truth and what it means for us here on Earth. A woman in Massachusetts survived an explosion inside her car Saturday after allegedly huffing cans of compressed air. She then tried to light a cigarette with the windows closed. Huff of, huffing involves inhaling fumes from household substances in order to experience a high. Fire officials say the buildup of the fumes 
followed by the cigarette lighting, likely sparked the explosion. They say the car had all of its glass blown out. The explosion also damaged nearby cars. As for the woman, she had minor injuries and was treated at the scene. Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, went to court Wednesday. Never before had the son of a sitting U.S. president pleaded guilty in a federal courthouse. He was expected to plead guilty to two federal tax crimes. But what happened next surprised almost everyone. In a rare move, the federal judge in the case said she was not prepared to accept a plea deal. And she gave both sides 30 days to provide more information. The two sides will now have to offer more explanation to the judge about the five-year federal investigation into the president's son's business dealings. The delay also gives Republicans more fuel to investigate what they believe are President Biden's connections to his son's foreign business dealings. Although there is no proof of any wrongdoing, and the president denies involvement. The new Barbie movie was such a huge success at the box office, the toy company Mattel is already planning to deliver all kinds of Barbie merchandise for Christmas this year. The CEO says the company has locked in more than 165 partnerships with brands and retailers related to the Barbie movie. The film, which is based on the famous doll, had the largest opening weekend of any movie this year. Mattel already released a new collection of toys tied to the movie back on June 1st. Those products have already sold out. So the company plans to release more products in time for the holidays. Check out this amazing story. A Rhode Island couple was enjoying clams at a seafood restaurant. When the woman shucked and slurped on her clam, there was something hard inside. It turns out it was a perfectly shaped oval pear. What are the odds of that happening? According to a local jeweler, about one in a million. The couple said this miracle was a lucky sign. The man had already proposed to the woman on July 8th. So they took the tiny pearl and turned it into a tailor-made engagement ring. Wow, what an amazing story. And finally, here's a look at comments from Sign One News viewers. Well, actually, it's a public thank you from me to you. Jacqueline Furterer and Kashmira Desai. Thank you. Thank you for your kind birthday wishes. I really appreciate it.
I've got so many people to thank, like my mentors and my parents and my family. Every one of them in every stage of my life was there to encourage me and to help me grow. So thank you to all of you. And that's it for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to all of you, our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download your Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. But if you prefer to watch on a laptop, television, or iPad, you can through Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku. Take care.